Twenty years ago, we, we purchased a 12-acre block of land and built a barn-style house on it. The property was quite rugged, requiring a fair amount of developing. Due to a lack of machinery in the early years, most of the work was done by hard physical labour. But as I've got older, the physical labour has lost much of its appeal, so I've got myself a rhino. This is a pretty cool little machine. These small diggers tend to rock around a bit, so it's a good idea to level off the site, then put the blade down to stabilise the machine while digging. Over the years I've carted scores of loads on this trailer, topsoil around the property or gravel out of the riverbed. Initially it was all shoveled on and shoveled off. Then I bought an old tractor with a bucket on the front. I would load the trailer with that, then shovel it off again. Now I have a rhino, I threw the shovel on the bonfire. I just love this digger. Here I'm just using some excess topsoil to fill in the hollows to make the paddock smoother. I just roughly spread the dirt around with the bucket and level it out with the blade then give it a track roll to pack it down. After that I scatter some grass seed over it and before long the paddock is better than new.
Sometimes I hear people say products made in China are cheap and nasty. Well this digger was at a price that I could afford, but it's definitely not nasty. I'm really enjoying the privilege of having my own rhino. It came with a tilt bucket, a digging bucket and a trenching bucket. It also has a ripper and best of all an adjustable thumb. So the plan is that we will make more of these videos showing what this digger can do with the different different buckets and different attachments on them.